Ah, that, yes. The group prior to yours has disappeared entirely. It's possible that there was less than the necessary amount of oversight. That's still being looked into. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. This is a little different because I knew about this mission, which is not a mission, so to speak, because I played Skyrim so many times. In this case, if you joined the Mages Guild and got through, I believe, the first lesson, and then what is buried under Sarasalval or whatever. I'm kind of blurring it all together because you need to do these in order to trigger this mission, which is not really a mission. You have to talk to a specific instructor and ask him, like I showed you in the beginning, about lost students. And if you, if this had been an active mission, you would have to find the location of the students and pick up something that was like a personal item to them, like a ring or a dagger or something along the lines. And the four students are scattered throughout Skyrim. Well, I found their locations before I even activated this mission and I sort of chopped the clips together here to show you the locations where you can find these students and well yeah you get some interesting little treasure you can enchant these items you find if you want and make them personal but eh, it's why bother so let's get on with the location of the lost students There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. Ah, that, yes. The group prior to yours has disappeared entirely. It's possible that there was less than the necessary amount of oversight. That's still being looked into. But we've had no contact with them for quite some time now. Arniel wondered if perhaps they'd somehow managed to get themselves lost in the Outer Realms. But I think that's giving them too much credit. I'm not sure. None of them were working on anything terribly dangerous. As I recall, Yisra was trying to improve flame cloak spells to better work in Skyrim's harsh environment. Elos Tai was practicing illusion spells. She was having trouble with the calm spells, I believe, but only ever worked with skeevers. And then there's Borvir and Rundi, twins, though they rarely agreed on anything. Those two boys were obsessed with mead, convinced they could concoct something to compete with hunting brew. Something about using frost magic to chill the mead for a certain period of time. I felt it was a waste, but the Archmage let them proceed. All right, then. All right, then. And now you would have pursued the lost students and found their locations. Uh, they are scattered throughout uh, mainly the northern part of Skyrim. They didn't venture far from um, Winterhold. And the first lost student is actually very close to Winterhold and located in. An area where you only have to fight a bandit, and then some of them are actually located in various other areas. At most, you gotta do is fight a bandit or some skeever. The first lost student you will most likely come upon, and just by accident, is in this runes called journeyman's nook and you have to fight a bandit to find this student picked up 
Bad time to get lost, friend. By this smear, you'll pay for that! You think you can take me? After you defeat the bandit, you can loot the general area and you'll find some decent treasure. And the, the student you end up finding here is called Borvir. And he has a dagger. Now, there's a nice book, Herbalist Guide to Skyrim, which raises your apothecary level. But the bandit plunderer, mixed bag of what he really has. And I'm going to try and, yeah, look for an arrow, get rid of the steel arrow. I really don't care. There's an alchemy area here. You could make some stuff up. And the barrels, yeah, honeycomb, etc. You want to look around here. You find a knapsack a leg of goat, some coins. Again, you want to loot the general area. There's not a lot in the knapsack, treasure chest, or treasure map, treasure map 2. And these treasure maps, yeah, you kind of got to figure out where the location is. But again, there is Borvir, who is lying on the ground over here and more than likely was killed by the bandit. And Borvir, Blue Mage Robe, there's a dagger lying around here somewhere, Borvir's Dagger. And that's the first location of the one of the first students you will come upon just by accident. And Borvir's Dagger is an elven dagger that you can enchant. But I digress. Let's get on with the location of the next student that you might come upon by accident. The next student is out in the sea, and you can see the location right now where I'm heading. It is right after Yzgarmor's tomb and slightly to the northeast. And it's kind of just this little area off to the northeast of it, you can find it, and it's a shrine to Talos, and you have skeevers to deal with. The student is Ilas Tai, and an Argonian who uses calm spells, if you paid attention to what the guy Finnis had talked about. And there's Calm Scrolls and some other stuff around the area that is useful. You know, you get some uh, Restore Stamina by eating a Hist Carp. And another Calm Scroll. And then Ist Tai here has a ring, which you can enchant. Besides the normal, ooh, lots of apothecary ingredients. but. He has a blue mage robe and a ring which you can enchant at some point. Now, this is the shrine of Talos where he's located. And you can get the blessings of Talos. But let's get on with the location of the third lost student after I pick up this route and we can move on. The third law student is called Rundi, and he actually built an altar not too far from Winterhold. It's actually here, and you, it's hard to get to. And there are frost runes, which will blow up if you touch them. So if you look at the location, it is slightly to the um, east of the mage college you can see the mage college and there's some valuable stuff here you're supposed to find a dagger called rundi's dagger for some reason i have not did not find it and i picked up all the stuff here 
there's the bowl, there's, but it's only five do, five gold, so why bother? Uh, this is where you would find Rundi and a book to increase your alchemy. I'll take the Petty Soul gem, but for some reason, no body. And I couldn't find Rundi's body or the dagger, but you can see there are some frost runes which could hurt you. And just a little electrical magic will detonate the runes. Again, this is the location. So, yeah, I can't find the body. So, we might as well just move on to the next location. Yep, oh, wait, I did pick up Rundi's dagger. Sorry, you just saw it there. But I digress. Let's move on to the next and final lost student. The final lost student is Yisra, and she is out here in the northern sea, not too far from, you can see this charred area and a charred corpse, kind of grim. And if you search the area, you come up to this kind of charred area and you can harvest some spiky grass, but there's also a spell tomb of flame cloak and this charred corpse. Yeah, you want to try and get, there we go, nah, it's kind of hard, there we go, Yisra's body, gold and Yisra's necklace. And her location is, again, in the northern sea area. I'm going to try and flip to the map and show you after I kind of harvest some spiky grass. Yeah, here we go. Where she is located, if you look around the area, it's in the middle of nowhere, but it's kind of right here. It's north west of the light tower and the tower of st stone tower it's kind of between night walker you know it's in the middle between dawn star and i'm pointing out these locations here you can kind of find it if you walk around and that is the final student yisra i'm brad proprietor of barstool entertainment if you found this informative, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment. I do my best to reply to all of them if they're good comments. Um, if you like these types of videos, I post four a week. And if you don't want to miss out, hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you will be informed when I post videos. As always, Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.